Hello everyone, my name is Sam and welcome back to another video. I had actually already recorded a video for this week, but I don't know, I just like really wasn't into it. But I realized I hadn't done a makeup video in a while and I don't know, I just really felt like doing my makeup today. So I thought I would record it and kind of show off the one new product I got because everything's closed. I can't really test anything out. But there was a really fun part during that video that I think I'm gonna show right now. You like busting up in my videos, don't you? I do. What do you think? I have 17 subscribers now. Okay. I had nine when we filmed our last video. I think people wanna see me all dolled up. And now I am up to 18. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. I'm super happy because my last video got over 140 views, I think which is the highest any of my videos have ever gotten. You should really check it out if you haven't already. So I feel like I've stated this before in a previous video, I'm really terrible with trends. Normally by the time I pick up on a trend, it is well since passed by the time I actually get to it. That is why today I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. This came out two or three months ago, I think. And I actually bought it like, the week it came out, I think, and I told myself I was going to do a video on it, but better late than never, I guess. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. Let's just get on to the makeup look. For a primer, I'm using the Becca Cosmetics First Light Priming Filter. Ooh, I forgot my cat ears again. I had no idea that Burt's Bees had a cosmetic line. I think I knew that they had lipstick, but I thought that's just because they made lip balm. For foundation, I'll be using the Burt Bees Goodness Glows Liquid Makeup in the color Almond Beige. I feel like it doesn't look bad, although that just could be, you know, me. For concealer, obviously we're using the Tarte Shape Tape. It doesn't change. I know I'm still using my little baby one. I actually ordered a full-size bottle the other day because Tarte had a 50% off on their Shape Tape Concealer. And it was supposed to be in today, but with everything going on, the mail carrier is, it, is uh, having delays and I can't be mad at that. Something else I need to order the full-size in is the Cover FX Translucent Powder. I love this powder so much and like, I, I, I hate using my other powder now because this one feels so velvety and smooth and honestly, hurry up and order a full size uh, container of it. But anyway, I'm going to set my under eyes with this little baby Cover FX Translucent Setting Powder. Now, of course, I'm going to do fill in my eyebrows using the Benefit Cabral in the color 4. So how's everyone's quarantine going? Mine's going pretty well. I started watching Community. So that's what point I'm in. Now that our eyebrows are looking fierce, let's hop into the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. To start off with, I'm going to dip into some positive tea. I'm just going to kind of put that in the outer portion of my lid and kind of drag it all the way up to my brow bone. And I guess the crease too. We're just going to basically put it everywhere but the middle and the inner part of our lid. Before we get too far, and hopefully I'm not too far, but I forgot I wanted to do this. I kind of want to try the tape technique. I used to do it a lot. And for this look, I really want to get that sharp angled look. So I'm just going to put some pieces of tape on my hand so it's not too sticky. I'm just going to angle that. Basically put it at the same angle where it'll come and meet the tail end of your eyebrow. I really want to get like a really nice snatched line. I know something else you can do is to just put on 
your eye makeup first and then clean it up with some eye makeup remover and then make a straight line like that and then put on your face makeup. I don't know if I can do that. Taking that same brush, I'm gonna go into therapy sesh. And I'm not gonna go as far as I did with positivity. Kinda go right under it and focus more on the crease. I love purple so much. Now I'm gonna take just a little bit of my man and I'm gonna put that right above where I put positivity. And I'm just doing just a teeny bit on this outer corner real close to my brow bone. Take a clean, fluffy brush and just doing tiny little circles and kind of blend it just a teeny bit. She's a bright queen, that's for sure. Now I'm going to carve out my lid using some concealer. Probably stopping about like right here. I don't know what that is. It's probably like what? Probably three quarters of the way. If you really wanted to, you could probably stop right here or put like a very light cream color on, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm going to go into No Joke and put that where we just carved out our lid. And because I feel like being extra, I'm going to take I'm In It and put that in my inner corner. I'm In It is probably my favorite shade in the entire palette. And with the tape still on, I'm going to try and do a wing liner. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. <sighs> okay, let's see. It's actually not that bad. I'm just gonna take No Joke again and with an angle brush and put it on my lower lash line. I just put on some lashes and I used the Sephora Collection Lash Stories and I used Foodie. And now I'm gonna put on mascara using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Now I'm gonna put on the Kylie Cosmetics Pressed Blush Powder in the color We're Going Shopping. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlighter in the color Aura. And for lipstick, I'm going to use the Kylie Jenner Liquid Lip in the color Bare. The main reason I'm using this color is because I really want my eyes to pop and not so much my lips. So I felt like my eyes were kind of not as yellow as I wanted them to be, so I actually just took some No Joke on my finger and I just rubbed a little bit of it on my eyelids and it got the exact color that I wanted. And to finish it off, I'm going to put on some setting spray using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I am super in love with this makeup look. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I really, really love this palette. All the colors in it are just absolutely gorgeous. And I hope that I can play with more colors and show off some more fun makeup looks. But I think for right now, this is a really awesome and really fun springtime look. And 
I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel so I can get 100 followers and do my fiance's makeup, but also help support me and just come along this fun YouTube journey with me. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm really glad I decided to do a makeup video this week. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and what other videos you'd like to see next. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at SJ with the brush and I will see y'all next time. Bye.